I was born in a slum that even the Germans couldn't be bothered to bomb. We had an outside bog and a tin bath, the telly never worked, and the coal fire went out more often than me dad. <laughs> my dad only drank to get pissed. My mum used to knit because we couldn't afford to buy new clothes, not because it was a fun social experience. So don't talk to me about privilege. I grew up on Brand where even the serial killers went around in pairs. We were the embarrassing relatives who got written out of our own history. Airbrushed from the family snaps like surplus fat on a celebrity waistline. We were jobless, hopeless, clueless, shoeless, penniless. We were sat on, spat on and shat on. So don't talk to me about privilege. I went to the worst school on the worst estate in the crappiest town. They called our school constipation because nobody gave a shit. The only thing our English teacher taught us was how to spell desperation. Our geography teacher gave us a map of the route to the door office and then fucked off. There's only two ways out of Brand's home, in a cop van or a hearse. So don't talk to me about privilege. My glass will be permanently empty if someone hadn't already smashed it in my face. You try getting a job with an HU7 postcode. You've got more chance of getting blood out of a Jehovah's Witness. We didn't have a glass ceiling, we had a collapsing roof that crushed the world to live out with us every time we dared to look up. So don't talk to me about privilege. I spent my dinner, I was making cups of tea for striking dockers on the picket line while you were getting lessons on Marxist theory from your private tutor. So don't talk to me about privilege. I was running errands for the local dealers to help pay the rent while you were in your bedrooms reading Sylvia Plath and worrying about your pronouns. So don't talk to me about privilege. I've been oppressed, repressed, harassed, persecuted, picked on, dicked on, sicked on. I've had prejudice, intolerance, injustice and discrimination. And I know your life's hard, but so is everyone else's. And your bickering and point scoring over who's most marginalised is like two corpses arguing over which one of them's most dead. So unpack your invisible knapsack somewhere else, Peggy, because we're all the same and we're all different. And some of us are alright and some of us are twats. And your fight is my fight and my fight is her fight and her fight is his fight. So work out who the real enemy is, Peggy. But don't talk to me about privilege. Yeah.